Hello, I'm Mike from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I will test and review the Blue Yeti Pro microphone. Blue Yeti is well known around the world. Certainly here in the UK, you can walk into Carrie's PC World or Argos and walk out with a Blue Yeti under your arm. So I thought I'd find the best of the best Blue Yeti range, the Blue Yeti Pro. It's kind of like a Blue Yeti, just with more bells and whistles. So let's do the grand unboxing. Here's the box. It's a very nice box uh, with a Yeti, and it tells me it's a legendary ape-like creature that roams the Himalayas. So let's open it up and see what's inside the box. Now, inside the box, of course, you would expect to find the microphone. I would definitely hope so. And maybe an accessory or two. So here's the opening. Oh, and inside already we have a nice looking uh, Yeti themed instruction manual. There it is, because there are many modes you can have the Yeti Pro set to. Uh, now, this is cool. Obviously, you've got the USB cable. The USB cable is important if you want to connect to your computer, although you won't often find me recommending a USB microphone. I like the Yeti Pro because it has XLR options. Uh, so, included in the package is an XLR adapter. Now, this is actually actually a five pin uh, XLR adapter uh, that goes from five pin. Let's see if we can get a nice close up on that, if the autofocus will take it. Uh, but it seems to be, yes, there it is. There's the five pin adapter that goes to a three pin uh, XLR adapter, which then goes into your, your mixing desk or your audio interface mixing board, depending what side of the uh, Atlantic you are on. Uh, so that's in there. And then underneath this polystyrene, I'm going to find da, 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 the Blue Yeti Pro, looking absolutely fantastic. Uh, most of it's metal with a uh, plastic casing. And of course, the, the cool thing about the Blue Yeti range of microphones, he says as he pulls it out of the casing, <laughs> is that everything comes all included. It's, it's all there. You've got the, the, the mic stand uh, all melded straight onto the microphone. So no need to get shock mounts, no need to get boom arms, no need to do any of that kind of stuff. That's kind of why it's a popular microphone amongst the, the podcasting, the YouTube crowd, but also amongst uh, professional musicians as well. Why? Because of the different modes. So you've got stereo mode, that's the first mode. Then you've got omnidirectional, which is all around. Cardioid, that heart shape, which is best for podcasting and speech, where just one person is speaking. And you have got uh, the bidirectional, uh, which is uh, one side and the other side active, so you can have a guest sitting opposite you. Anyway, Enough of my talking about the Blue Yeti Pro. Let's put this to the test, and I'm gonna test it in two places. I'm gonna test it here in what is a rather echoey workspace so we can see how it copes with an echoey, bouncy environment. It is a condenser micro member, so it will need 48 volt phantom power if you uh, power it through the XLR, but if you go through USB, uh, no need to uh, loop in extra power. Uh, and then I'm gonna move this into my, my vocal booth, which is totally sound treated, and we'll hear how it copes in there. So let's get started. Testing the Blue Yeti Pro in an echoey room on stereo mode. Music Radio Creative, testing the Blue Yeti Pro on stereo mode in an echoey room. Testing left channel. Testing right channel. Testing the Blue Yeti Pro in stereo mode in a sound treated room. Music Radio Creative testing the Blue Yeti Pro in stereo mode in a sound treated room. Testing the left channel. Testing the right channel. Testing the Blue Yeti Pro in an echoey room on omnidirectional mode. Music Radio Creative testing the Blue Yeti Pro in an echoey room on omnidirectional mode. Testing the Blue Yeti Pro in omnidirectional mode in a sound treated room. Music Radio Creative testing the Blue Yeti Pro in omnidirectional mode in a sound treated room. Testing the Blue Yeti Pro in an echoey room on cardioid mode. Music Radio Creative testing the Blue Yeti Pro in an echoey room on cardioid mode. Testing the Blue Yeti Pro in cardioid mode in a sound treated room. Music Radio Creative testing the Blue Yeti Pro in cardioid mode in a sound treated room. Testing the Blue Yeti Pro in an echoey room on bidirectional mode. Music Radio Creative testing the Blue Yeti Pro in an echoey room on bidirectional mode. Testing the Blue Yeti Pro in bidirectional mode in a sound treated room. Music Radio Creative testing the Blue Yeti Pro in bidirectional mode in a sound treated room. 
So there you go, Blue Yeti Pro condenser microphone. It even records in 24-bit, 196 kilos. I don't know why you'd need to go that high, maybe if you're recording music. But all around, it's a great mic if you have the right sound treatment in your room. Echoes, not that forgiving on echoey environments, uh, but definitely a good quality microphone and easy to pick up in most stores and online and all around just a nice sounding microphone for the price. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below and remember to get involved in the Summer of Sound awesome audio gear giveaway. You could win blue microphones and blue headphones as well. Lots of cool stuff from blue. mrc.fm slash giveaway is the place to go. That is mrc.fm slash giveaway. 